complementary angles. So we are talking about angles which aren't friendly to each other, but rather angles whose sum is 90. All right, so they will add up and form a right angle. We'll use that thought a lot. So for example, x degrees plus y degrees is 90. An important thought to carry here with this expression is that if I solve this for y, I get y is equal to 90 minus x. And now we have two different ways to express uh, an angle. I can use x and y, but I can also say x and why did I put a power of 2 up there? That was supposed to be a degree measure. Okay, so x and 90 minus x. And that's going to be very powerful here in the example. Before we do that, let's just take a look at a picture. I can take um, a two angles, express one is 90 and one is 90 minus x. And let me draw something roughly that looks like it might be 90 degrees, right? And then we can take this angle, spin it around, voila, and together they fit 90. Okay? So they don't necessarily have to be next to each other, but that together they should add up to 90. So here we have a phrase now. So let's underline the important parts. First of all, it says two complementary angles. The measure of one of the two complementary angles is three greater than twice the measure of the other. So I'm going to write out two sides of an equation. All right, and on one side I'm going to have x, and the other side I'm going to have 90 minus x. So there's my two complementary angles. One of them is 3 greater than twice the other. So I'm going to multiply one of these by 2. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to work with the twice first of all. So I'll take 2 times x. So this side here is now 3 greater than twice the other side. So if that side is 3 greater, you can do one of two things. You can either subtract 3 from this side, or you can add 3 to this side. I prefer to do the addition part. All right? Now I'm going to solve this algebra problem. So we have uh, uh, 2x plus 3 equals 90 minus x, right? Just dropping the parentheses. Slide the x over. This side becomes x. Slide the 3 over. This becomes 87. Oops, side, this side becomes 3x, right? Because I add x. Oof, almost made a classic error there. Divide both sides by 3. And we get 29 degrees. So one angle is 29. So x is 29 degrees. And then 90 minus x is going to be, I think, 61 degrees. So in this case, they said find the measure of the larger. We're after this one. All right. Supplementary, same thing, except that x plus y is going to be 180. So they will make up a straight angle. Right. And again, if you call one x, you can call the other one 180 minus x. All right, so there's one phrase, there's the other phrase.